What's up, family? Wow, I'm feeling great. God is good. The sun is on me. I'm in nature right now. Wow, God is good, man. God is great. Man, I, I find myself lately saying that so much, so much daily. And there's a Bible verse where in the book of Psalms, David says that he gives praises to the to the to the Most High seven times a day. And uh, that's how I know he was living the good life. That's how I know he was full of joy throughout, you know, the situations he was going through because, hey, you know, he had God's favor and he really loved God. He had a heart that seeked after him. But the title of this video is Don't Stop. Okay, don't stop seeking God's kingdom. Don't stop seeking his righteousness. Don't stop, you know, uh, leveling up. Don't stop becoming the best version of yourself. Anything that you're striving towards, anything that you're working for, don't stop. Go hard. Don't stop not going hard. You, you got you to gotta keep on pushing through the adversity, through the bad times, because you're going to go through times where you're going to feel like giving up. You're going to feel like quitting. Uh, people around you are going to hurt you. They're going to betray you. They're going to put you down. They're going to slander. They're going to gossip. They're going to try to destroy your name, your image, and everything that you build up. And that's just the devil working through them because that's what the devil comes to do. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But always understand that when you're going through that, and you're just doing the right thing and you know god tries your heart because there's a lot of phonies there's a lot of pretenders there's a lot of fakes but the bible says in jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 to 10 that god tries the heart he searches and sees your true intentions about the things that you're doing if you're really genuine or if you're just doing this for a motive if you're just doing this for clout if you're just doing this to be seen and or maybe to get the bag but god tries the heart and he sees your true intentions so be genuine with what you're doing and um wow man i'm telling you guys don't stop don't stop that's the best advice i could give to everybody in life or at least to believers at least to believers is seeking god's kingdom daily seeking his righteousness oh that's a dope what up bro that's dope right there i haven't seen that i had an electric bike before i sold it i sold my electric bike because uh I don't know, I kind of got bored of it. I feel like a couple days, I kind of got bored. Anyways, I'm not jumping off topic. It's so rare to see them here. Look at this nature, guys. Wow. Look at this. Like, when I see this, guys, I see God. Like, when I see, I see God's creation. When I go to, like, the uh, ocean, the beach, all I see is just God's creation, man. It's just full of peace. And, you know, the cities is full of corruption and, you know, 5G towers and all the madness and you know the buildings i mean that's nice to see sometimes i guess but for the most part this is where you want to be at man and we got to plug back into this because when the grid gets shut off which is going to happen some people are like oh market fear mongering listen guys <laughs> a lot of things that i said can't came to pass and i still stand guys i still believe in 2024 something is going to happen that's going to really shake the world just like in 2020 okay um and i don't want i don't when i say these things it's not to uh push fear it's not to scare you it's just to be prepared and be and you know prepare for the warning because warning always comes before destruction god always sent someone uh an individual group to warn people and uh most of the time when they when they sent them to warn them most of the time they didn't listen that's why there's a bible verse where it talks about how um lazarus i forgot how to say his name so correct me if i'm wrong in the comments uh he went to hell and uh the the uh, the poor man was like um let me go tell his parents or, or something like that i forgot the i don't have my bible i'm in nature office right now but he uh he pretty much said oh, let me go tell his parents or, or something like that and he was like oh no no don't don't do that because they're not gonna listen anyways or some, something of that sort so most people don't listen most people don't they're rebellious you know they, they had that spirit in them and uh the spirit of pride and uh you know the bible says rebellion is a sin of witchcraft and all those things but and anyways, I'm jumping off talk, man. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep it going. Keep it going through adversity. Keep pushing. Stay consistent. Stay consistent in what you're doing. Stay consistent and, and be motivated and get inspired. Be encouraged. Do the right thing, man. And I, I just, man, I've been learning a lot, guys. This last couple months, I've been learning a lot. And what God wants me to do in my life and the things that he's adding and also the things that he's removing. Um, and, you know, I'm sure some of you guys are, you know, going through certain seasons too as well. And, uh, you know, just be prepared, man. Just be prepared to leave certain people, certain things behind because they don't serve you no purpose no more. 
Um, if someone is not adding it into your life, guys, they're taking away. If someone's not supporting, being supportive, they're draining your energy, okay? Uh, they're just a leech or an energy vampire, and you're not gonna get to, to what, you, what God wants you to do. You're not gonna get on your purpose and get to the next level in your life, being around these certain spirits. Some people are miserable, guys, and miserable people, they gravitate towards other miserable people, and they all just stay in that little loop of being miser miserable uh, and misery. And you know, God doesn't call us to be miserable. Okay, we're supposed to be full of joy, gladness, the gladness of heart. Remember the Bible says to serve the Lord with joyfulness and gladness. And uh, you know, rejoice, rejoice in him. And man, like, it's easy to give up sin, guys. Giving up sin is easy. It's a piece of cake. Uh, you know, I understand that we battle and we struggle and things of that sort, but really guys, giving up sin, it's, it's easy. You just gotta be really committed and dedicated and all in. You know, uh, be, be ready to leave people behind. Be ready to, um, you know, crucify the flesh. Be ready for that. That's what we have to do. And, you know, Yeshua paid the ultimate price and he showed us how to live, man. He showed us how to live. And, you know, we understand that we're going to go through certain, you know, battles and, you know, within our own household, within our own family, friendships, uh, relationships and things of that sort. But no matter what, man, you, you don't lose faith. You don't you don't lose your eyes on what what you were called to do, because if you don't follow your calling in, in life, we all know what happened to Jonah. Now, God forbid you go into a fish's mouth for three days. Some people say it's a well, you know, the Bible says fish. So I'm just going to go with the Bible. So fish. All right. Whatever. Uh, you know, God forbid you end up in a fish's mouth for three days. I don't want that to happen to me, guys. I, I, I don't want anything of that nature, that sort of strange, strange calamity to fall upon me because I'm not doing what God called me to do. It, it's a scary sight, uh, you know, to do when, when God has called you to do something, you're not doing it. Like, that's crazy. Like, when you really love God, when your heart truly belongs in him, you can't you can't do things that displease him. And I'm not saying that you're not going to fall short, but when you're just willfully like, no, nah, I'm not going to do this. Nah, you know, like, it, I, I just can't, man. And you, we have to really think about the times we really love something. We really, we really wanted something, right? We really were excited. We have to have that same energy when it comes to doing God's will. Remember, the, there's a Bible verse that talks about in the curses. It, it, it says that um, because thou serve not the Lord with joyfulness and gladness of heart, uh, the curses will come upon you. Okay, it's in uh, I think it's in Deuteron um, Leviticus or Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. One of the one of those chapters. Uh, I'm just flowing right now, guys. I'm just flowing. I'm on my walk. Why not make a video real quick? You know, uh, the weather is great. California weather feels good, man. It feels great. But anyways, man, don't give up, man. Anyone who needs to hear this message, don't give up. Keep striving. Keep pushing. The reward is there. Okay, right now you're right here. Okay, you're right here and you got to get to over there. And when, as you're getting to over there, there's going to be so much trials. You're going to feel like giving up. You're going to feel like quitting. You're not going to want to, you know, you're not going to want to go to the end because of all this stumbling blocks, all these roadblocks and, and all these things that the enemy has placed upon it. Because that's the enemy doing that. God don't put that stuff in. God wants you to just keep on walking straight. But the enemy, he wants to stop you. He wants to kill you. He wants to destroy you. Destroy everything you build. You know, that's what, that's what he does. And. We got to understand where the enemy is working in someone in our life because that's a spirit. It's a spirit. And these people are deadly people, man. And you you keeping them around you in your life, man, you're only going to go downhill from there. Uh, I've been there, done that. And, uh, you know, luckily from the grace and mercy, I'm still here and I'm still preaching because some people are assigned to you by the devil, man, to, to really just take you out, to really, to get you to, you know, delete yourself. Or do something that's gonna end, end you up in jail. And that's all just the devil, bro. You, you gotta get rid of those people and also gotta be accountable for bringing those people into your life too as well. So we don't wanna blame nobody but ourselves. And uh, you know, like I said, in this walk, you wanna be, you wanna be, you wanna be accountable. You wanna be accountable of your actions and your faults, your shortcomings, your flaws. And understand that when you trespass against the most high or when you sin against them, that you learn from it. And you don't repeat the same mistakes again, okay? And that's what God, you know, really wants from us. He understands that we're in our, you know, we're in, you know, our human body, our flesh or whatever. We're not, we're not slaves to it, but, you know, we eat fleshly things or whatever, right? Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I'm jumping in and out. But 
we're not a slave to it. We're not, we're not supposed to be a slave to sin. And like I said, guys, giving up sin, that's easy, bro. Like, that's easy. I didn't have much help. Let's go straight. I didn't have much help. And this is how the enemy works, guys, right here. As I'm going straight, now it says trail close. Now I'm just using that as an example. He puts, he puts stop signs and new levels, new devils. That's, that's how it is, man. New levels, new devils. And, and anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I might go live right now. I'm, I'm feeling the energy, guys. I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go live. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>